what's going on guys let's do this problem right here the question is asking a piston cylinder device initially contained 0.4 kilogram of nitrogen gas at 160 kilopascal and 140 degrees celsius the nitrogen is now expanded isothermally to a pressure of 100 kilopascal right determine the boundary work done during this process so let's see how we can do this so they are saying this is an isothermal also we can figure it out if the temperature is constant right so let's see how we can find the work so whenever we have isothermal process we always use this equation w is equal to mrt ln v2 over v1 okay or sometimes you see nrt it depends on the situation like here they have provided this value right here so if they provide this one this is in terms of kilojoule per kilogram kelvin that's why we use mrt if they give you mole you have to use nrt and r is and at that time r is going to be a gas constant right that's 8.31 so here since they have provided this one we have to use mrt and if you wonder how did we derive this equation there's a reason for this one right so the thing is like if you draw a PV diagram for an isothermal process it's not going to go like a straight line it's go like a, something like this right so in isothermal so if it goes like this we can't use PV P delta V or any other equation to find the pressure so we have to use the uh, this equation uh, integral if you take the integral you know that W is equal to integral P D V right so in instead of p we can write pv is equal to nrt so pv is equal to nrt p is equal to nrt divided by v right so instead of p we put that one so this is going from v1 to v2 and this is going to be nrt v by dv right so except v everything else is going to be constant so we move that one to the front so here nrt is constant so nrt integral v1 v2 1 over v dv if you do calculus you know that 1 over v is if we integrate 1 over v that's going to be long v so this is going to be nrt long v going from v1 to v2 right so since this is so there's no yeah dv then after we do the integration this is going to be it that is going to be it right now if we plug these values we are going to get uh, nrt long v2 minus long v1 right so this is a natural logarithm so whenever we have like natural logarithm if we subtract that's equal to dividing each other so here nrt this one can be written as long v2 over v1 right if you add it's multiply if you subtract it's dividing so that's how we derive this equation this one right so here we have mrt so you can also use pv is equal to mrt it depends on the situation and if, you, if they provide you more you use nrt if they provide you kilogram and this constant you have to use mrt so that's the thing now let's go ahead and use this one so in order to use this we have to know, know the volume right the volume is not pro provided right here so here to find the volume again we have to go and use pv is equal to mrt for the initial condition to find the initial volume and final condition to find the final volume so pv is equal to mrt so let's see what changes in initial m is going to remain the same r is going to remain the same since this is an isothermal the temperature all temperature also going to remain the same but only pressure is changing initial we had 160 kilopascal in the final we had 100 kilopascal right so the pressure is the only thing only thing that's changing so we can calculate the v1 using this formula P1 is equal to MRT over P1. So let's plug all the values. So M is 0 
R is uh, this value kilogram times 0 0.2968 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin so this is only for nitrogen right here we have so it depends on the gas if they give you a different gas they will give you different values so that changes according to the gas so this is 0 0.2968 uh, that one multiplied by and whenever we use ideal gas laws we have to always convert this temperature into kelvin since this is in degrees celsius we have to convert this one into kelvins so this is going to be 140 plus 273 right divided by 160 kilopascal so 100 so this is kelvin 160 kilopascal and that's going to give you 0 0.3064 meter cube right you don't have to change this one into pascal because here if you notice we have kilojoule and actually kilojoule and kilogram cancel those kilos and we have this kilogram right here that one cancel with this one wait wait yeah kilogram kilogram cancels so this kilogram this kilogram cancels and this kilojoule this kilo remaining this kilo can cancel with the, that one and this kelvin this kelvin cancels and finally we get the answer in joule so we have joule remaining and also this is pascal mean newtons per meter square so that meter square goes up and multiply with newton meter and newton meter cube newton newton cancels we get meter cube so that's how we got this one right in terms if you forget joule is equal to newton meter pascal is equal to newton per meter square right so that's how we derive this one so let's go ahead and find the v2 v2 is equal to same equation mrt only pressure is changing v2 so here we are going to put the same values in the top 0 0.4 kilogram times 0 0.2968 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin 140 plus 273 kelvin divided by 100 kilopascal right that's going to give us 0 0.4903 meter cube so now we have v1 and v2 so this is our v1 and this is our v2 now we can go ahead and plug it in this equation to find the work done right so w is equal to mrt long v2 over v1 so m is 0 0.4 kilogram times r is 0 0.2968 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin long so this is times long final minus I mean final over initial so we have final that is 0 0.4903 divided by 0 0.3064 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you and don't forget the temperature we have a temperature right here right uh, maybe I write this one right here so we have 140 plus 273 so we have to always convert degrees Celsius into Kelvin when we use ideal gas flow right so if you calculate this one that's going to give you 23.05 kilojoule why did we get kilojoule because kilogram kilogram cancel yeah the kilojoule is remaining on top right Kelvin also cancel with this one and we get a final answer in kilojoules. So that's going to be the answer for this question. 23.05 kilojoules. And that's how we do that. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.